All right, gonna show you a real quick example of old uh, Ed Fenninger here, lying. Uh, he's he's a professional liar. He's lost. It's so funny. This guy's such a stinking, you know, ridiculous heretic, and he's quite ignorant as well. Let's watch this. It's only a minute and fifty seconds, so you know, you don't have to endure much of this fool. Watch this. Good afternoon. In this video, I want to do with the issue of uh, the Trinity and Brian Denninger and how fouled up he is in that area and why it's so important. Now he's going after, uh, lately he's gone after uh, guys who study on the Ruckman and, and teach the way Ruckman taught, or teach it, uh, it taught. And um, he's going after them and the idea of Craig Moe, for instance. And he made the insinuation that somehow that, uh, Ruckman was agreeing with, with what Brian was teaching, not what Craig Moe was teaching, which is a lie. Now there are things, and he used the body analogy, but the fact is, when 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 he was clear on the statement, he was very clear that he was a Trinitarian. And uh, oh yeah, he he says some things that doesn't agree with Ed, but Ed just kind of ignores those things and whatever else. Let me just say it right now. Ruckman was very confused, right? Ruckman um, he studied a little bit too much. He read the you know too many books. He says a book a day since he was so many years old and whatever else. I love Peter Ruckman very much, but. Uh, uh, he had a little bit too much of book learning, you might say, and not enough scripture. There was many things that Ruckman departed from the scriptures and followed the traditions of men on. I believe he was totally saved, one of the best Bible teachers that ever lived, certainly. But there were a lot of places where Ruckman's quite confused, right? And he doesn't go with Bible terms or Bible ways of doing things. I mean, he had his Babel building for how many years? You know, ridiculous. But let's continue watching. I'm going to show you the proof that Fenninger's a liar. If you're a Bible believing Christian and you're saved, you know, you already figured it out. But I'll show you one more time. Buckman was. And I want to read here what Buckman says here. The deity of the Holy Spirit. You get the Trinity screwed up and you get the whole Bible screwed up. The Father is one person with certain attributes and titles and names and functions. The Son is another person with certain names, titles, attributes, and functions. The Holy Spirit is another person with certain names, titles, attributes, and functions. Yet the three persons are one God, and his name is the Lord. So, it's very clear. It's very clear. Uh, what was the book? What was the page? Chapter? Whatever? Nothing giving. Uh, you just have to believe old Funninger here, you know. I'm actually going to show you what Ruckman preaches. But though, let's let's finish up uh, Funny Bunny here. That's Trinitarian. It's a Trinitarian comment, statement, clearly goes against everything Brian Denlinger is trying to pull off with his three parts. And that it's it's Denlinger, okay, Denlinger, not Denlinger. But you're, you're great, this this guy's an intelligent man and everything else. It's more difficult to say Denlinger, right, Denlinger, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the Father. But uh, Buckman didn't believe that. Never seen him, but he says Jesus Christ is the Father. And they said the father manifested in him. And he made some confusing comments in areas. But that's it. Well, he made some confusing comments in a few areas. But yeah, let's just ignore that. I'm going to show it to you here in just a minute. Ruckman actually saying what I believe. And by the way, let me just say this. When I say Jesus is the father, what I'm saying is I'm not doing Pentecostal oneness that says that there's no distinction between father and son. I'm not saying that. I've never taught that. What I'm saying is when I say Jesus is the father, I'm saying the father is within him as the soul. Watch my videos, that's what, what I've always said. Let's continue. It's a clear statement of Trinity. That's a very clear statement. He makes it clear, uh, states it very clearly, that the three persons were one God, and they share the name, the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Here we actually have Ruckman preaching his sermon, uh, Body, Soul, and Spirit. All right. Now, Ruckman used the term Trinity. I used to use the term Trinity, right? But then as you start to really study this subject and you realize when looking at the Catholic Catechism that the word Trinity, this Trinity thing is the most important foundational doctrine to the Catholic Church. And you start going, hmm, uh, wait a second, is it in the King James Bible? No, uh, maybe I should stop using that word. You know, the Lord convicted me. I stopped using it. I mean, you listen to some of my old studies. I did a study many, many years ago, 2010, on the thing of, uh, you know, body, soul, and spirit. I called it Trinity, the Trinity, body, soul, and spirit. I mean, it was there. I changed it to, you know, just recently changed the title to, you know, man, body, soul, and spirit. 
Uh, Trinity is a heretical word. It is a false pagan um, idol in Catholicism, um, which I've proved. But uh, you can't prove anything to somebody like Ed Fenninger. But let's actually see what Ruckman has to say. Look at here. He that has seen me has seen Pete Ruckman. You never see me a day in your life. Oh, yeah, I see you. No, you don't. Well, I'm looking right at you. No, you're not. You're looking at my body. I am not my body. I'm in my body looking out at you. You never seen me. You ever see me a day in your life. But if you see me, you've seen all there is to see. <laughs> see that thing? <laughs> God has a body, Jesus Christ. God has a soul, God the Father. God has a spirit, the Holy Spirit. Man made in the Trinity, in the image of God. So God... See? He says the right thing. Now, I learned it from Ruckman. You know, and then I backed it up with Scripture. And I looked at the Scriptures. Yeah, that's what the Bible teaches. God has a body. Jesus Christ. God has a soul. God the Father. God has a spirit. The Holy Ghost. These three are one. One being. Not three beings that you pretend are just one being. That's not it. All right? Right there it is. But then he uses the term Trinity. Just like I used to do. Like a lot of Bible-believing preachers have done over the years. It's false. You shouldn't be using it. All right? Then you can watch the whole thing there. He mixes Catholic Trinity type of wording. God the Son and Trinity and, and persons and things like this. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like I said, Ruckman read a lot of books. And that stuff will start to get into your mind. It's so thoroughly, you know... Um, in a lot of the different teachings and whatever else down through the years and people don't question it. They don't see the Catholic infiltration in the different uh, institutes of higher learning and things within uh, Bible universities and whatever else. But there's no scripture for this stuff. That's the point. If you're a Bible believing Christian you say, hey, you know what? There's no scripture for this. I'm done. I'm finished. And you know, Ruckman He's going to lose some rewards at the judgment seat of Christ because of him sticking to unscriptural traditions of men. His church building, the Sunday best, using the word Trinity, there's a bunch of things. I will make a stand. When I don't see things in the scriptures, I'll say, okay, I'm going to take a stand on this stuff. I'm going to stand against the Catholic Trinity. So, that's going to be it. Ed Fenninger, again, proven to be a liar.